Hello everyone, Cyril White, uh, head coach here at Country Spirit CrossFit, and today we're going to talk about some shoulder prehab and post-injury rehab exercises you can do to make sure your shoulders do not get injured in the first place and to make sure if you have a shoulder injury, you can rehab that. Uh, I've had many shoulder injuries in my athletic career, especially uh, the older I get, and uh, especially when typically people first start doing CrossFit, uh, there's a lot of pushing and pulling vertical. All the presses, the Olympic lift presses, the jerks, a lot of pull-ups, and uh, those really are tough on the shoulders, especially kipping pull-ups. Uh, we caution our athletes, if you're not close to a full strict pull-up, be careful how many kipping pull-ups you get. I get it that you can do kipping, you can get your chin over that bar, it feels awesome and it's good, but it's super tough on your shoulders, okay? So uh, make sure you limit the amount of kipping pull-ups you do, especially if you're not not uh, accessorizing with the other movements I'm going to talk about. Uh, in our program, we typically like to have a lot of not only vertical pushing and pulling movements, but also uh, the horizontal, the, the bent over rows, dumbbell, barbell, bench pressing, things of that nature. That's going to strengthen the entire shoulder. Uh, we do the assistance exercises with dumbbells. Can't really work those into a wad, but we do them because we want our athletes, number one, to be safe and to be working out for a long time. So we use these bands both if we have an injury existing or we use them on a regular basis to prevent shoulder injuries. You want to have resistance so it's not enough. We do shoulder mobility exercises in our warm-up that's better than nothing. It's not as good as having some constant resistance. You can also do all of these that I'm going to show you with light dumbbells. Again that's better than nothing but it's not as good as having the constant resistance uh, both eccentrically and positively of the rubber bands all right so the first one we have is the scarecrow arms at 90 degrees keeping them at 90 degrees pulling up you want to do about eight to ten reps of each one of these exercises then we have scarecrow the other way and you can come out farther for more resistance then we have holding the arm at 90 degrees you want to put something between your elbow and your ribs and pull out at 90 degrees that's a really good one that's going to strengthen up a lot of things that don't get strengthened in the shoulder when we're just doing pushing and pulling vertically then we have that same thing to the inside then we have arm across our body drawing a sword getting that band behind the head. Uh, then we have arm out, fully extended, going across our body, trying to keep that arm straight. And we have the scat pull for scapula, trying to pinch those shoulder blades together, keeping those arms at 90 degrees. So we covered some of the resistance exercises we can use to strengthen our shoulders, to rehab our shoulders. Uh, we also want to break up any scar tissue of the injured areas or prevent any scar tissue from forming any areas that get tighter and tighter and tighter from our doing pushing or pulling exercises. If those areas don't get broken up and redistributed and strengthen it's just going to cause an injury at some point so that's what happens we have we get little tears from doing the same movements and adding more weight and then uh, those tears become a scar tissue and they have to be broken up okay also it's very important if you do injure yourself if you injure your shoulder that doesn't mean you want to just completely stop those strength exercises. So if my shoulder is injured from doing a ton of presses, a ton of pull-ups, a ton of kipping pull-ups, it doesn't mean I want to just stop those. I want to definitely limit the weight, but you still want to do those movements because continuing to strengthen those areas of the shoulder is going to help you come back from injury that much faster. So you don't want to just cut those exercises out, go down, use a PVC pipe, use a super light dumbbell. Don't go to where you're having excruciating pain, but if you just feel a little soreness work that get it stronger little by little so we have all these mobility tools uh, this is a field hockey ball in a sock and what I can do is hold that and get into that shoulder area 
Uh, also, if you know any good uh, massage people, they can do a better job, but if you, if you don't have that at the moment, this is the next best thing. So you wanna find that sore area or that tight area and work those balls into that area. Uh, you can use a good old softball or baseball against the wall. If you feel any areas that are super sore, work it in there. You know, it's, it's gonna hurt, but that's gonna break that scar tissue up and it's gonna be less sore over the long run and prevent injury. A couple of other things that are great for shoulders, especially after a workout, when you're warmed up, I wouldn't recommend any of these uh, when you're completely cold. It's best after a workout when your muscles and, and tendons and joints are warm is uh, taking one of these good old resistance bands and a couple of different things you can do. Wrap your hand in it and grab the band and come up here, arm at 90 degrees, get it so you can feel it stretch. If you feel any super sore areas where you can feel it really starting to get sore, that's the area you wanna hit. You wanna give that area a little bit more attention. Uh, you wanna ideally do each exercise, each body part for one minute. Um, also, don't just do the shoulder that's injured if you do have an injured shoulder. You wanna always do both sides and balance so that you don't get out of balance and then injure the other shoulder, okay? Also, uh, you wanna make sure that you know the difference between a really sharp pain where you should stop what you're doing and kind of that dull, sore uh, pain that you get from an injury. If you're ever doing anything, any of these stretches, any exercise, and you start feeling like you're gonna get a sharp pain in anything, uh, you should stop. Stop what you're doing, tell your coach, and uh, they'll modify it so that you don't injure it more. If it's just kind of like a super sore, dull soreness, nothing sharp, uh, you wanna find that area and find the exercise or mobility work that you can really feel that, because then you know you're getting that area and targeting it. So another good one is across the body, this way. Again, about a minute per side. And then we have, and this doesn't feel good if you have hairy arms or legs, but don't have time to shave that. It takes long enough to shave my head, pulling away. All right, so those are all great. If you have an injured shoulder, if you wanna prevent a shoulder injury, doing all those things are great for you. Thanks for watching this. Uh, have a great day and uh, keep training hard and stay safe. Thanks.